So as y'all see, I'm back in the Bob's furniture right now. We was here last week. Ended up getting like, I think a bed or something for my daughter, my son. Yesterday, I was moving a bed to the new house, bro. Broke my bed, now you see where I'm at right now. Bob's about to get another bed. What happened with the bed? You broke it. I ain't break it. I feel it. like you did it on purpose. What would I gain out of breaking a bed on purpose, y'all? Besides having to spend more money. The kids love coming to Bob's because they get the free ice cream. Every single time. You trying to get a rug? No. Oh, yeah, this on rumpy. Bumpy. <laughs> it's soft though, right? Oh, they got some new furniture from the last time I was in this joint. Look. These joints look cozy too. Nah, this joint hard as a rock. Y'all see, look, this is a nice little bedroom set right here. Got the headboard on the joint. Only $3.59, bro. Like, that's a steal. Got the nice queen size bed, all of that. This bed is extremely smushy. Almost reminds me of, like a water bed, bro. Like no type of like firmness at all like that that's the type of bed that's gonna hurt your back bro never never mess with a bed like that shayla says she like this bed right here but y'all see this is a huge headboard bro this don't got shelves it's got lights it's got bob being a perv right here whenever you come to bob's you gotta hit the creases because if not you're gonna have a whole bunch of pushy salesmen follow you around I stay away from pushy salesmen, because if you pushy, I bounce, you hear me? See, I'm by myself right now, I'm my own salesman right now. I just like browsing, you feel me? And if I want it, I'm a cop it, you hear me? I like perverts. How is who a pervert? Bob's. Because he looks like a pervert, baby. If you ever see a guy that looks like this, baby, stay far away from him. Okay. Yo, this one right here, this is nice for the daughter. Only for the buck? 99? Bob's a pervert. Why? What's he doing? Getting on people's bed. That's weird, right? Old white man on the bed? What is that? Pervert. Yep. So I'm thinking about getting this one right here. Not going to lie to y'all, bro. It's a real chill, chill design. Only $2.99. Shade is going to be a $7.99 for the whole set. It comes with like stuff like this, that. Be honest with y'all, bro. I don't need all of that. Like. This is the only thing that I broke. I broke the headboard, so this is all I want. I'm gonna get that. And we probably, you said how what? How you broke the headboard? Cause I had you. Bang, bang. I ain't gonna show y'all all that. You feel me? Like this is this is this is a friendly channel. All of that other stuff. Don't be doing all that if you ain't gonna act on it. Get out of here, bro. Never seen. You said what? That's the biggest pervert I ever seen. Who? I don't even see anybody over there. Bob? Oh man. What a perv. So they have a lot of good items in here. I got my boy Patrick with me. Let him know what's good, Patrick. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Hey, come shop with my man. You feel me? Like he gonna get y'all right. Let him know what you do in this junk. Oh well, you know, I, I'm a salesman and then you know I, I, I treat my customers like my brothers too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You from Ethiopia? No, no, I'm from Nigeria. Everybody Nigeria? Thinks, yeah. My man looks Ethiopian. Ethiopian. Yeah. Is she, is she from Ethiopia? Yeah, yeah she is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She be eating a Doro wide and all that. You like that? Oh yeah. yeah. Some eating, good stuff. You, you eating Jara? Jaros? In Jara. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're talking about it's kinda of, it reminds me of a crepe a little bit. You talking about like the bread? Don't tell me you don't give him in Jara. I have given it to him, you know. <laughs> so we leaving the Bobs right now. We ain't really getting nothing. Matter of fact, we, matter of fact, we didn't get nothing. What we, we get? We did. I, we got her bed. All right, we got my daughter a bed, but we went in there to get me a bed, and I did not get a bed. <laughs> my daughter just got a bed, but clearly Shayla doesn't like the no, bed that my daughter got. No, you don't like the bed that she got. I'm, I'm, it's all you. You don't even know what to say. Welcome back, y'all. I know it's been a minute. It's been a while. But those of you that watch my second channel, you know I've been moving, stuff like that. And things have been chaotic. I'm going to be honest with y'all, bro. Moving is freaking hectic. I've been moving for about three weeks now, bro, like. I still got like sofas and all this shit at the other house. Be honest with y'all, bro. I ordered new furniture yesterday, bro. That shit at the old house. I should just leave it there, but I'm not going to do that. Going to fuck up my rental history. I ain't going to do that, y'all. I'm probably just going to probably dump it off. Be honest with y'all, bro. The worst part about having pets, they ruin the furniture. They was pooping, peeing, throwing up. I don't even know why they was throwing up. The kids be leaving little toys on the floor, bro. They be eating toys. Y'all see, I got boxes everywhere, bro. Like, 
I'm still unpacking. It's just looking crazy in here. Every day, new contractors been coming out. Like the contractor came for the dishwasher. Contractor came for the sink. Like they came to uh, do like the little air duct removal or whatever. I don't even know, bro. It's just a whole lot of stuff. A whole lot of stuff. I've been extremely busy. The thing about this crib is, y'all, it's got a whole lot of hidden areas, bro. Like I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like stuff like this kind of scares me, bro. You see, like, I be seeing videos and movies and stuff, and there be people living in the walls, bro. I'm going to put a lock on this. Like, all them storage areas that be, like, in the walls and stuff like that, it just be mad trippy to me, bro. Like, I ain't for none of them games, dog. I be seeing them slave movies. But, yeah, this don't got a whole lot of, like, cabinet space, stuff like that. You see, it's got the two ovens. That's good for, like, Thanksgiving. And overall, bro, like, it's a decent, it's a decent crib. You see a little fireplace right here that I'm never going to use. And what I realized moving, bro, it's not even the big thing. The big things are small. It's my clothes, bro. Like, I have clothes everywhere. Bro, there's clothes in the closet, bro. Like, there's clothes over here, bro. Like, all these clothes need to be put away. And there's still clothes at the old house. Got the bathroom right here. It's got, like, this little standing shower thing. The shower has like all of these like features and stuff. I don't even know how any of that stuff works. And then the toilet comes with like this asshole cleaner, bro. I'm not gonna use that because I feel like that's mad zesty, but it has it there. And then like this tub is like mad deep, bro. To be honest with y'all, bro, like the bathroom is probably like my favorite part of like the crib. And then, yeah, like I said, a lot of closet space, the kids' rooms. And then once I start streaming again, I'm probably going to set up the streaming area in the basement, like, down here. Hold on, put the light on. Yeah, I'm probably going to, like, set up down here, like, I don't even know, to be honest, bro. Like, I only have my PC with me. All of that stuff is at the old crib. Like I said, like, it's just half of the crib is here. The other half is at the old crib, like. Not <laughs> 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 you happy you getting rid of the dog you begged me for? Yes. He is something else. That's why, that's why I bring this toy for him. Hey, you don't kiss me my mother already, boy. Oh my God. I'm nervous, bro. I just gave that dog away. You know, granddad's from the Caribbean. He might eat that motherfucker, bro. So as y'all see, I'm at the gas station right now. Y'all see, it's a gloomy day today, bro. Been raining all day nasty out but i came across this restaurant bro this restaurant called beardy of love bro i haven't had beardy of tacos in forever so you already know we gotta try that i'ma zoom out to be more real quick and i'ma see what's up with this video spot you in a move for some tacos i'm not going for anything i'm starving what's wrong with you you still mad about that dog situation i'd be pissed too if my dog had to go why would you be pissed it's a it's my dog Man, y'all don't understand, man. That dog was ruining the house. I'm telling you, like, he was scraping up the carpet. He was scraping up the couches. Like, he had to go, bro. And I felt so bad because when I gave it to my granddad, the dog was literally whining for me, bro. Like, my granddad wanted to talk to me. I walked to the window. The dog is whining. Like, I feel like he liked me the most. But it's like, I had to get rid of him. Oops. So this is why you need to wash your hands every time you come home and every time before you eat. Chances are, if you're out and about just doing simple things, you're probably touching this stuff. And if you're not washing your hands, you're probably... Bro, this is the reason why I'm always so paranoid. For some reason, whenever I'm on, like, TikTok and stuff, it shows me all these conspiracy videos. They talking about how 72% 70 of shopping carts got fecal bacteria all over the handles, bro. Did you know that? Yeah, you told me before. I probably did tell you before, bro. There's doodle -doo everywhere. Like, y'all be going to the bathrooms and y'all be, like, using them little blowers. You you put a doodle -doo bacteria on your fingers and then you go eat with them jumps. So, as y'all see, boom. I'm at that bit of your love. And what I ordered was a California-style bit of your burrito. Apparently, that junk come with french fries in it and all that. It junk kind of remind me of, like, a one of them, like, gyros that come with your gyro i know some of y'all gonna get mad oh gyro peaks one of them gyros that come with the fries and all that stuff on the inside you feel what i'm saying like i never had a birria burrito like that i also got surf birria uh what is it called tacos 
So it's like Betty and tacos, but with, with shrimp in it. So we gonna see what's up with it. Never had it before. Y'all, they got a pizza on the screen. I ain't gonna lie, that pizza looking good. Have you ever had the pizza? Yes, it's my favorite. So she's saying that the pizza her favorite. She said with the shrimp on top. Yeah. Is it, it's good shrimp here? Oh yeah, the best. Like rose season? Yes. All right, baby, take care. Good, man. As y'all see, boom, we got a big bag full of stuff. I ain't gonna lie, kinda mad I ain't get the pizza because the pizza was looking crazy. I'm like, wish I would've got that. Bro, I haven't done a review like this in a minute, bro. Like, it's just bringing back memories right now. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I feel like the last time I did a review like this, it was when I was trying that Duro Soul Food, bro, and that joint was hitting. That joint got like a 9.5 out of 10 or something crazy. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm excited. I'm looking at this joint right now, sheesh. I spent about 87 bucks on this food, bro. This don't better be righteous. But you already see, I got a big bag, you know what I'm saying? Got the kids food, got the missus some food, got myself some food. You already know it's about to go down. It's about to go down the hatch, my nigga. This don't better be good. Not going out of here. They said at this spot, they said that it opened in like December, bro. Like three, four months old. Hopefully it's hitting so I can give them some good publicity. I ain't gonna waste no time. Cause these tacos is looking crazy. You see. They got the meat up in them joints. They got the shrimp. You see a little bit of onions. Shell nice and crispy, bro. I love when the tortillas is nice and crispy like this. This looks like it's gonna be a good one. Looks like it's about to be a good one. Kinda disappointed how the consomme is looking. Consomme don't got no radishes inside of it. It don't got no cilantro in it. Don't got no onions in it. I'm disappointed how it's looking. But the taco is looking phenomenal. The meat is tender. Tortilla is packed with flavor. Let's see if we can get the shrimp in a second bite. Oh yeah. Shrimp here. Trump got flavor. Dusty, these tacos are cheesy as hell. I've never had shrimp on a beer and taco before, but it complements it perfectly. Mm. Wish the consomme was a little bit better, but the taco by itself, taco is phenomenal. First restaurant that I've been to that has like taco truck quality tacos. Now I gotta see what's up with this burrito. Cause apparently the burrito got shrimp in it too. It got shrimp, it's got fries, it's got meat, guacamole. I gotta finish this though. Taco is good as hell. It's been so long that I have seen your face. I don't have anything to eat now. I wanna make love right now, now, now. Yeah, that don't got me acting. You see the burrito. Looks like they attempted to toast it on the edges. However, the tortilla is nice and soft still. Look, look how soft it is. I don't know how they did that. How they managed to toast it but keep it soft. Mm. As y'all see, guacamole inside of it. Got the onions in it. It's packed with french fries. And the meat, bro, they got endless meat inside of this joint right now. Guacamole tastes fresh. I think the french fries inside of it kind of took it like to, it was kind of a bit over the top. They really didn't need to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of consomme to my burrito. Make it a little juicier. I'm not really feeling the, the burrito like that. Like it's good, 
But the sour cream and guacamole kind of take away the taste of the beer. Like all I'm tasting is really like guacamole. The guacamole hit though. But I could live without the burrito. But these tacos. I gotta show you these tacos one more time. These tacos is here. You see, pack with me. Oh man. Water dripping from the top of the junk. These are nothing but the truth. I can definitely get jiggy. I would I would come back. I would come back for this. So how that ramen treating you? It's mid. What you mean it's mid? What's wrong with it? It tastes like you got one of those ramen packs and put some steak in it and called it a day. So what you rate out of 10? Probably like a four maybe. A four? Yeah. How's your pizza, son? Good. You like what you rate out of 10? Eight. Oily console, man. I don't taste. Nothing like the one I had in Texas. Oh yeah. This one's dry. The one in Texas this one dry? was so juicy. This is dry. Mm. I should have had a taco. The taco looks good. So there a taco right there. Try that. Try oh wait. That. Here's all the stuff. All the stuff is on this side. That's okay. It ain't all that. No. You wanna eat that again? Try this taco. No. Man. Ugh. That shit pretty fucking gross. It was not that bad, Sean. Well, not that the burrito it's wasn't It's so on. dry. Mm. You ain't dipping in the consomme? That shit is not good either. No. Should I? You want me to dip it? Nigga, do whatever you want to do, it. Sure. You want me to dip it in this oily ass shit? I'm going to flavor to it. Mmm. 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 a little bit better. What you like about the taco? Mmm. It's actually juicy. Look. It's actually juicy. Like, no lie. Hey, that joint is juicy. It's that juicy. Meat, that meat got flavor, huh? It has a lot of flavor. Oh, yeah. Do you smell shrimp? Oh, you want the shrimp chow? I was waiting for the shrimp. Oh, yeah, here it's goes. Right, it's right. No, 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 no. It's too much. Try this shrimp chow. No, this is good. Try this shrimp chow. No, this is perfect. My nigga, try this shrimp chow. I don't want the shrimp one. This is fine. I thought it was the shrimp. You got a problem with shrimp or something? I deal with yours every night, don't I? I don't know. What? What you trying to say? What you let me do? That's what you get. That's good, though. Y'all, the fact that she likes this because she hates beer tacos. I hate beer tacos. She liked it at Don and Letty's in Houston, but That's other than the only that, place. that shit was amazing. But the fact you saying these is good, this is on that Don and Letty's level. The taco is good. That burrito is not good, and I'm mad because I really thought it was gonna be on Don and Letty's level. Oh yeah. This shit, especially when I drizzled that lime on it. Y'all, Shayla says that she's scared to drive over these bridges right now. Yes, yeah, so she was scared. I ain't going it's live. It's a whole bro. bunch of them. I know this whole area got bridges. I mean, we we live by the water. Which I never was, realized how many bridges we went over. Shit. Whole time I think the bridge was over there. The joint that collapsed. I think that shit like over there type shit, ain't it? Is that it? I can't really oh, see. Oh time. I, I don't I really know. Can't see, to be it's, I don't know. It's over it's somewhere over this motherfucker. I don't think that's it right there. Oh, but, I can't see. Uh, My eyes ain't good. It's somewhere all. over this motherfucking water. <laughs> 